WKBN First News Network, home of the high school football Big 22 Award and best overall sports coverage in the Valley. This is the WKBN High School Football Game of the Week, sponsored by Stadium GM on Fox Youngstown. It is a picture-perfect night for football here at South Range High School. Tonight, the spotlight shines on the Northeast 8 Conference as Gerard and South Range will face off here in week five of the WKBN High School Football Game of the Week. Hi again, everybody. Chad Krasinski alongside Brian Jones. Brooke Manahan is on the sideline. Gerard enters this one undefeated. 4-0, ranked fourth in the state. In the latest state poll in Division Four, South Range is 2-2 two and two at the 500 mark. Let's take a look at our keys to the game, which are brought to you by our friends at Sheely's. First of all, for the visiting Girard Indians, they will look to spread the wealth. They have plenty of offensive weapons and will look to get the football into the hands of their playmakers. Second of all, make plays to sustain drives. That is the task of South Range. They will look to keep that Girard explosive offense off the field. Finally, make a statement in the NE8. Of course, after tonight's action, just five weeks remain before postseason play, and both of these teams, Brian, have high hopes to make a nice long run from week 11 and beyond. Absolutely, Chad. Two great, tradition-rich programs on display here tonight. Gerard, obviously, with a great run last year all the way to the state finals, and you got uh, South Range in the brand-new conference this year uh, looking to pave their way. Trying to get to week 11. They're going to have their hands full tonight with a, uh, a well-oiled machine in this Girard High Indian Bow Club. Yeah, Girard is averaging 42 points per game. As we approach the opening kickoff, let's send it down to the third member of our broadcast team. Here is Brooke Manahan. Brooke. Thanks, Chad. Both of these teams are meeting for the first time in school history. As you both mentioned, they're joining the newly NE8 conference. Both head coaches, head coach Dan Yegley and head coach Pat Peterson, told me it's kind of unknown, but it's exciting. They get to play a new schedule and new teams each week. However, for South Range, this is completely new for them. They came from an independent came playing from independent for the last two years. So being part of a conference, head coach Dan Lake Yegley told me it gives his players another motive to work hard. South Range has won seven of its last eight at home in September. Gerard, meanwhile, has won 12 straight regular season games. And the Indians have also come away victorious in 14 of 15 road games dating back to October of 2016. So it will be that explosive Indian offense getting its hands on the football to start things. Teeing the football up for South Range. It is Logan Weaver. Twin return men back deep for Gerard. Among those, Jimmy Jones. Sit back, relax under the Friday Night Lights. It is the WKBN High School Football Game of the Week. A low line drive squib kick picked up across the 25 out to the 27-yard line. And not much running room whatsoever. It's Morgan Clardy on the return. And that is where we will see that Gerard offense come out, lighting up the scoreboard. They have won their two road contests this year by a combined score of 101 to 14 the quarterback big shoes to fill mark wade at youngstown state now playing quarterback andrew del garbino is there nick Molito is a wide receiver he verbally committed to louisville a few short weeks ago and hayden gump anchors things on the line a very good and a very big offensive line for the gerard indians on the direct snap it is morgan clardy trying the near side and he picks up good yardage on first down unique play call here for Gerard on the first play call they go to the direct snap to Morgan Killardi South Range defensively looks this way and Dan Yegley had so much good to say about Corey Cougar along with Jake Gehring, Anthony Delusia, and Colin McCabe 
Indians will keep it to the ground. It's up across the 35 and out to the 38-yard line. It looks like it is enough for a first down, and it is. And the Indians move the chains on their initial possession here of tonight's contest. That's the one thing about this Gerard team. You never know what they're going to do. Coach Nick Cochran coordinates this offense. He's one of the best around, and he gives defensive coordinators nightmares trying to prepare, and uh, he's up to something new every week. Andrew Del Garbino is the quarterback, and he turns and gives to Morgan Clarty, 45-50, and into South Range territory is Clarty, and he's down to the 48-yard line into Raider territory. A lot of names on this offense. You hear Nick Melito, Drew Del Garbino, Jimmy Jones. One name that is an X factor for this Girard offense is Morgan Collardi. He does a great job with the ball in his hands. Does a great job on that play. Getting great yards for that Girard offense. He's a leader on both sides of the ball. Pat Pearson says he's just a hard-nosed kid. He's a four-year starter. But when you have that much experience, you're going to get things done. Indians keep it to the ground and a great defensive play. And there to make that stop for South Range, it was the aforementioned Corey Cougar. A big number 88 said, no way, not anymore. It'll bring up second down following the four-yard loss. Five-yard loss, in fact. Just Check. underway. Cougar with a nice play there. Just closed that running lane down and stopped Kalardi there for a five-yard loss. Exactly what the doctor ordered there for that South Range defense. Del Garbino awaits the snap. He fakes the handoff. He'll go to the air. He has plenty of time. He's flushed. Here comes Cougar. Del Garbino throws incomplete. Boy, second play on this drive as Corey Cougar was in pursuit and in hot pursuit at that. And that'll send up a third down and long play. Look at Cougar off the edge. He's got a nice long frame to him and he covers a lot of ground very quickly. And Del Garbino is going to have to get the ball out quicker when he is in pursuit, that's for sure. Jimmy Jones and Nick Melito wide out near side to the left. Del Garbino wants to throw. He's pressured. Floated deep downfield. Incomplete. And Jimmy Jones is looking for a penalty flag. None comes. It'll be fourth down and 15. And a great job by the South Range defensive group to really, really put together a nice stop. Absolutely, Chad. Looks like uh, incidental contact there. Both the receiver and the DB get tangled up. No flag comes out. I think it was a great job by that back judge to keep it in his pocket. Forces a fourth down and long here for Gerard. Del Garbino. Low, short, line drive punt, which will bounce off the South Range return man. And pouncing upon it is Dylan Dominguez, and so South Range will get its first crack on the offensive side. First down and 10. South Range fell to Poland last week, 27-7, and Dan Yegley said it was just really tough up front. When you talk South Range, a veteran player that has gotten it done throughout his career is a left-handed quarterback, Isaac Allegretto. Anthony Delucia is the running back. Chris Gehring at the tight end. The good offensive line, Chris Brooks, is tremendous at wide receiver. He's emerged as a true go-to for Allegretto. Out of the shotgun, Allegretto will turn and give. It's a run play up the middle. It's to the 15-yard line. That's McCabe on the carry. Gerard's defensive unit. Will shape up this way, and Hayden Gump is a force on that defensive line. Morgan Clarty, one of the linebackers, and a couple of Melitos in the defensive backfield for the Girard Indians. Second down and seven, following the gain of three from the 15-yard line. Allegretto is the southpaw, brings another man in motion. Allegretto will toss it. It's hauled in. 
Ian Toy horse collar down, and they'll pick up even more as Toy off to the races. And the Raiders have it first down and ten. Here's a little jet sweep. They just flip it to Toy. And he does a great job right there, just making a good cut, getting north and south. And he finds a great running lane until he's horse called right there down to the turf. Great scheme, great run there by Toy, and he's going to tack on some extra yards here on the end of that run. So that football is going to be marched all the way down into to our territory at the 49-yard line. First down and 10 for South Range. Raiders looking good in the early going. Run play goes to Dylan Dominguez over the right side. He's down to the 44-yard line. Brought down on the play by Nassim Lloyd, a sophomore defensive lineman. It's a pickup of five, and any time you can pick up chunks of five yards on first down, you set yourself up for a great deal of success. Split wide out to the left is Chris Brooks and Ian Toy. Brooks is a speed burner, has great size. He goes up and gets those deep balls, that's for sure. Isaac Allegretto again gives over the left side, and it's Dylan Dominguez down to the 41-yard line, bringing up third down and short. Again, we talked about our keys to the game, and you look at what South Range is trying to do, grind it out, sustain drives, run the clock, keep that Indian offense off the field. Absolutely, Chad, and you talked to Coach Yeagley during the week, and he said they wanted to establish the run game, and when you establish the run game, that's going to enable you to sustain drives, and that's exactly what they're trying to establish here in drive number one. Isaac Allegretto will bring a man in motion. Allegretto makes the handoff, throws on the run. It's complete, hauled in by Anthony DeLucia, and it's a Raider first down. It's a great job here. It's a quick little belly fake. Allegretta gets the ball in his hands very quickly. And DeLucia makes a great catch. And they pick up the first down to sustain that drive. First down and 10. Line of scrimmage is the 35-yard line. Raiders keep it to the ground. Dylan Dominguez falls forward. And he's down at the 26-yard line. It is important to note, and I would be remiss if I didn't, this success on the ground for South Range is coming without a very important piece on the offensive line. That's Anthony Zapp. He's out with an injury. And our best wishes to him. He's an outstanding big guy up front, and they'll miss him. But the next man up mentality, second down and one. Isaac Allegretto will give to Dominguez. He's trying to find a hole, does so. Down to the 20-yard line, and another first down for South Range. Right now, South Range is doing a great job at the point of attack at that line of scrimmage. Their offensive line is running a simple zone scheme. The back is finding running lanes inside, and uh, they're picking up great yards in between those tackles right now. From the 20-yard line, run play up the middle, down inside the 15, and down to the 14-yard line on the carry for South Range, Patrick McCabe. And it's going to bring up a second down and three, and the line of scrimmage is all the way down to the 13-yard line. Allegretto gives right side. It's McCabe again inside the 10 as South Range has reached the Bellaria red zone. Bellaria, they sell taste one bite at a time. First and goal now for the South Range Raiders. More than halfway home here in the opening quarter. Raiders on the move. They're averaging just a hair under 26 points per game. Looking to make a statement in this first quarter. Isaac Allegretto will toss it to McCabe. And there's some premature movement. The Raiders will back up. Back up. 
So we'll walk things in the opposite direction. First and goal from the 12 yard line. In the backfield for South Range, it's Luke Blasco who's checked in. A four wide receiver set for Dan Yegley's team. The Raiders bring a man in motion. Allegretto fakes the handoff, fires, and it is complete inside the five and down to the four yard line. On the receiving end, Jake Gehring. And Gehring, four yards shy of finding pay dirt. A big tight end. Made the grab. Jake Gehring, a heck of a baseball player as well, heading to Ohio State. To pitch for the Buckeyes after his high school career is over. Allegretto on the option, will keep it himself, Allegretto spinning, Allegretto working his way in for the touchdown. There's a penalty flag on the play, let's check it out. Looks like this is going to go the way of the Raiders. Here's the call. It will go against Gerard and so South Range is able to draw first blood in a game that lots of folks really thought Gerard would move up and down the field on their first possession. Instead, it is South Range getting it done. There's a face mask. Allegretto pounds his way in for that touchdown. Extra point try by Weaver is up and it is good. 443 left to play here in quarter number one. It is South Range 7. Gerard nothing on the WKBN High School Football Game of the Week. What a drive for South Range to get things started. It took up half the quarter, 88 yards, 11 plays. Isaac Allegretto with a four-yard touchdown run, his third touchdown on the ground so far this season. And that South Range team certainly looking like a well-oiled machine that we're so used to seeing Gerard operate like. So there was that face mask penalty on the touchdown run. So they'll march it off and South Range will kick it now from the Gerard 45 yard line. But really an impressive drive. And again, very methodical. They didn't do anything too exotic, did the Raiders. And you gotta love what you see from Dan Yegley's team in the early going. Absolutely, Chad. I think, uh, you know, you wanna see how a team bounces back. Obviously they're coming off a loss and uh, they look up for the challenge tonight. That's for sure. You know, 11 play drive. And they put it in the end zone, and they're going to force Gerard to come back down seven here. So, great job. The Swan is into the end zone for the touchback. And now, see Gerard, what adjustments the Indians make. Of course, what a run it was. Last December, all the way to the state championship game for Gerard. Indians coming up just a little bit short of their ultimate goal of winning it all. I think everybody in the Valley was glued every weekend when they were making their run as the lone team the postseason left and people were 
pulling for them to win it all. And they've come back out and picked up right where they left off here in 2019 from what they did a year ago. No doubt, and that's a testament to these coaching staff and most importantly, these kids. The Indians will bring a man in motion, keep it to the ground. It's a run play to the right side. Clarity is bottled up almost immediately. That will set up a second down and seven play upcoming. Rolling clock inside of four and a half to play. And again, they'll change up the alignment, will the Indians. Del Garbino is lined up. He lines up all over the place. Indians, Jimmy Jones fakes the throw. He'll keep it himself. Jones down the sideline! And Jones is shoved out of bounds. He almost broke it for a big one. They'll mark him out of bounds right near the 50-yard line or right on the 50. Jones found an opening and he sort of squirted his way through the hole. And again, he was stopped by Luke Blasco from the 50, first down and 10 Gerard. And again, lining up far side to the right is Andrew Del Garbino. Jimmy Jones, quarterback draw, Jones right side, and he's inside the 45, and he's tackled at the 43-yard line. Right now, what you're seeing from Gerard's offense is the Jimmy Jones show, trying to get something going on offense. Jimmy Jones taking that snap right now, and uh, he sure is giving this Indian offense some life right now. Jones, 262 rushing yards coming in, averaging over nine yards per carry. He fakes the throw again, and that time he was cut down. And there to make the tackle for South Range was Colin McCabe. That time, South Range was not having any of it. Plenty of rushing here in this first half. Make sure you watch for the Duncan Run of the Week. It comes your way every Friday night at 11 o'clock on WKBN 27. Indians keep it to the ground. It's Morgan Clarty powering his way inside the 40. And he's down to the 36-yard line for another Indians first down as Gerard has now picked up the pace in a big way. Far side to the right, it's Jimmy Jones and Brennan Rutherford. Nick Melito wide out near side to the left. Del Garbino fakes the handoff, looking, floating, left side, and Melito couldn't hold on. He would have been in for six in all likelihood, and Nick Melito just that close. It's a good fake there by Del Garbino, and he throws a nice fade ball here, and Melito has him beat, and it was just off the fingertips, but I tell you what, that was a good Good play by the defensive back there. Dylan Dominguez. Dominguez. There's some movement up front. And I think South Reigns jumped across, but we'll sort it out. And get our official word. And they're marching South Range in the opposite direction. And so that's usually a pretty good indicator. <laughs> who the penalty is against. So the line of scrimmage is the 31-yard line. Gerard quickly back to the line. This is Jimmy Jones. He fires to the right side. It is complete, but not much running room whatsoever. As that one hauled in by Brennan Rutherford. And now it'll be a third down upcoming for Gerard, who trails South Range by a score of 7-0. As we approach the final two minutes of this opening quarter here in week five of the 2019 high school football regular season. Glad you're with us here for a WKBN Game of the Week. Chad Krasminski, Brian Jones, and Brooke Meenahan down on the sideline. Jones awaits the snap. 
And we have a whistle and a timeout taken by Gerard that comes with 1.45 left to play in the opening quarter. We will take a timeout as well. South Range 7, Gerard nothing. We'll bring you back to Raiders Stadium after this on the WKBN High School Football Game of the Week. South Range with a 7-0 lead, 145 left to play. Gerard facing third down and four, but South Range put on a show on the offensive side. Dylan Dominguez getting it done, pounding it for Dan Yegley's Raiders. And it's Allegretto to Gehring and a nice pass completion. And Allegretto would polish things off with a touchdown run, spinning in for six. Back to it. Indians on the attack. Jimmy Jones has a first down on a big third down play. And Jones, lightning quick speed, moves the chains again for the Indians. Yeah, Jimmy Jones here, he just runs with a purpose. This is a called run here. And he is very fast through that hole. And he does a great job with the ball in his hands. Expect it to be in his hands a lot more times tonight. One and two on the roster, Jimmy Jones and Morgan Clardy. Jones playing quarterback. And Jones takes the direct snap, has an opening, bouncing it to the outside. Five, four, three, two, one, and he's in. Touchdown. Great job there. Why not? If it's working, why not stay with it? You'll see a good block here to seal the edge by Clardy. Good dip in and get back outside there by Jimmy Jones, and he sees the pylon, and it's get there, and it's a race, and he gets in, and it's a touchdown for the Indians, and they're one point away now from tying the game up at seven. Seventh rushing touchdown of the season for Jimmy Jones. Stephen Gamble. On to attempt the extra point for Gerard. Snap back, ball down, kick blocked! Raiders flying through, and that one was rejected if my eyesight hasn't deceived me. Looks like Luke Krumbacher will probably get another look at it, see who it was. Krumbacher was there, and also flying through the air, it was Luke Blasco. Those two darted across and swatted that thing backwards. So that keeps it a 7-6 contest with a buck 10 left in the opening quarter. Man, this has been a tremendous first quarter of play between two NE 18s and two really traditional powers. That's tremendous effort right there on special teams. You know, a lot of people see that play as a play you can take off. Uh, not under Dan Yeagley. You're going to get every play is all out, well coached. And that point, as we saw last week, might loom large in this game. Special teams, a lot of times, for some folks, are overlooked. Not these two coaches, that's for sure. So now, teeing up the ball, it'll be Nick Melito, who almost hauled in a touchdown on that drive. And back deep to a return for South Range. It's Luke Blasco and Dylan Dominguez. 7-6 is our score. And Melito, the Louisville recruit, recently changed, previously committed to Toledo. And then not long ago has changed to Louisville. It's a short kick, which will roll out of bounds. So it was one of those kicks into no man's land. 
And Michael Patron alertly let it roll out of bounds. And so the penalty flag comes out. We're kicking it out of bounds. WKBN's Big 22 includes the five blocks of granite, which honors the top high school football linemen in the Valley. The five blocks of granite are sponsored by the Moransky Companies and Coca's Pizza. Head to WKBN.com and click on sports to see the top high school football players from here in the Valley. There's some big bodies on both sides. Here in this one tonight, big 52, Hayden Gump is among those who certainly will be in the running for that distinction. So South Range following an impressive scoring drive that took about six minutes earlier in the quarter. Raiders get the ball again. Isaac Allegretto looking to throw, floating, left side. Chris Brooks made a great catch. And there's a penalty flag down. Let's see. Was he interfered with? He's the go-to guy. He's got great size. He's got great athleticism. And we'll check it out. Looks like it will, in fact, go against Gerard. It'll be declined, we think. I love the play call to open up the drive. Give your quarterback a chance to air one out. Give Chris Brooks welcome to the game. It is against Gerard. And Chris Brooks, what can you say? As you look at the replay here, Allegretto places that ball perfectly, and Brooks does a great job coming down with it. And why not give him a jump ball? He's six foot four, he's got long arms. Great looking body out there. Expect him to get a couple more chances at some of those jump ball opportunities later on in this game. Yeah, Coach Eggley said he has to make things happen for South Range to win. He goes up and gets the jump ball, has good hands, and he's a game changer. Proof of that right there. Allegretto fakes the handoff. He will tuck it and run. 40, drag down at the 37 yard line. Among those making the tackle for Gerard, Tyler Maddox. This is a great job. Al Allegretto tries to change his field here, but Tyler Maddox does a great job of, as a cutback player here, playing his responsibility, and he limits a big play there for that South Range offense. Three wide receivers set for South Range. There you see the total yardage. One wide out, far side to the left. Allegretto turns and gives to Dominguez, and Dominguez looking for a hole, and he's down to the 35-yard line. And it'll bring up a third down play, and in all likelihood, that is going to do it for us here in quarter number one. Final 10 seconds ticking on down. What a first quarter it was. 12 minutes in the book, South Range with a one point lead over Gerard in the WKBN High School Football Game of the Week. Set for quarter number two, 7-6. South Range leading Gerard. 
Isaac Allegretto turns, gives Dylan Dominguez, rumbling his way inside the 30, and he's down to the 28-yard line up Gerard. It is another South Range first down, and those guys up front for South Range paving away in a big way. Quickly yeah, they, back to the line of scrimmage. Go ahead. Yeah, starting to do a nice job with the rhythm here. Do it, paving the way. Raiders keep it to the ground. Dylan Dominguez barrels his way inside the 20, and he's wrestled down at the 19-yard line. You can see in the body language the South Range team is really starting to increase and build its confidence now that they have seen they've been able to move the football with some consistency as Tyler Maddox made that tackle. So from the 20-yard line, Isaac Allegretto fakes the handoff. He's under duress, fires and misses off the mark to Jake Gehring. And again, he was pressured, so he had to probably unload it before he really wanted to. Well covered, too, by that Gerard Indian defense. Third down and one upcoming for South Range. You're starting to see that take effect on that Gerard Indian defense. They give this to Dominguez, and Dominguez muscles his way down to the 16-yard line. South Range will move the chains again. And all of a sudden, South Range is in the Bellaria red zone. Bellaria, they sell taste one bite at a time. They're starting to look a little tired here on this drive. They're not subbing a lot of people in and out of the ball game. So take note of that as we move on throughout this game. Isaac Allegretto will give to McKay, blasting his way up the middle, and he's inside the 10, and wrestled down at the seven yard line. Big chunks of yardage for that South Range ground attack. It's a pickup of nine yards, second down, and one for South Range. Split wide out to the right, Ian Toy, Brooks near side to the left. Patrick McCabe just behind Isaac Allegretto. Allegretto takes the snap, gives to McCabe, trying to find an opening, muscling his way inside the five, and he's wrestled down at the four yard line. And it is first down and goal for South Range, who has been very impressive in this first half. As we showcase the Northeast 8 Conference, Anthony DeLucia now is into the backfield as they shift players in and out. Allegretto will bring a man in motion. They will toss it the way of Patrick McCabe. And McCabe is in! Touchdown! Four-yard touchdown run. As the clock continues to roll, but again, that's a touchdown pass. And one of the easiest one in the career of Isaac Allegretto. Extra point try by Weaver is up and it is good. 9-19 left to play here in this first half. South Range looking like a well-oiled machine of the WKBN High School Football Team of the Week. At least, at least 10. Is this mine? Or you, you have two? What's that? Is this yours? I brought him. No, it's fine. It's, I have one right okay. here. Yes. Yep. 
Hey, can you hear me? Yeah, I'm about to talk to McCabe right here. I'm going to get his reaction and we're, uh, um, you know, with his brother and everything. Give me a second. I'll let you know. South Range has increased the lead to 14-6 following another long drive, 10 plays, 65 yards, just over four minutes, and a short four-yard touchdown pass. Isaac Allegretto connecting with Patrick McCabe. And South Range is doing it on the ground, doing it through the air. It's a low line drive kick. Picked up by Rutherford. Rutherford puts on a move, and he's dropped at the 25-yard line. So Brennan Rutherford on the return, and now, if you're this Gerard offensive unit, you were able to put some things together on that scoring drive for the Indians, but again, with the way that South Range has moved the ball, they have to be a little shell-shocked at this point. I think so, but Gerard's been in a lot of games no uh, doubt. of this nature, so uh, they're not going to be, uh, you know, too shell shocked. I think they they need to get their quarterback into the rhythm here, but expect Jimmy Jones to get a lot of carries here too. This direction play goes the way of Jimmy Jones, 30 spinning free, but not for long. Dominguez rips him to the turf. And it'll bring up a second down and five situation. Again, great speed exhibited by Jones. But not the home run that it looked like it could potentially be, thanks to Dylan Dominguez. Dominguez just playing, playing his job right there. And he's right there, Jimmy Jones. And the best part about that play is he gets him down to the ground because that hasn't been very easy to do to this point. Up the middle, Jones again. He slithers his way up to the 35-yard line. And it is a Gerard first down. They mark the football at the 35, first down and 10 Indians who will again go without a huddle. Jones continues to pile up the yardage. Anytime you can average about 11 yards a crack, you're doing something right. Jones takes the snap, whips it to the left side. They went with that wide receiver screen, but Melito didn't have a chance to do anything because the play was blown dead. And the penalty assessed to Gerard for illegal procedure. And essentially, that's the premise of that play. They're going to spread everybody out, and if they have they have the numbers they're they're going to throw the screen and if they have the a nice box there he's going to run the ball and that's what they're doing and after this next play we'll send it down to brook as the indians are facing a first down and long situation it's now the pace has slowed up all of a sudden and jones will operate all alone in the backfield. And Jones takes the snap, whips it, knocked down! On the play, incomplete. And I think knocking that one down was Sean Manning down to the sideline. Here's Brooke Manahan. Chad, Patrick McCabe just scored that last Raiders touchdown. He has a brother on the team, his twin, who's on the offensive line. I asked him, is it a little bit more special when you see your brother score a touchdown? He goes, well, I'm blocking for him, so I know I'm doing the job. <laughs> and then I asked him, I was like, well, should you get credit? And he goes, I should, but unfortunately, I don't. Brotherly love, that's for sure. 7.45 left to play. In the first half, here come the Indians. 
Not much running room whatsoever. As Jones again with the carry. Very short pickup. And it is third down coming up from the 32 yard line. I'll tell you what, those pads are popping. And again, Corey Cougar crashing in to make that stop second or third time. He's been involved in a wicked collision. It appears Andrew Del Garbino is back. Movement across. And that's going to be a free five yards for Gerard. So it makes a difficult third down play a little less difficult. Jones will line up in the slot on the right side. Dominic Melito will join him. Nick Melito, far side to the left. As you get a look at Clardy to the left of Andrew Del Garbino. Del Garbino looking to throw left side, firing incomplete. Morgan Clardy was open. It would have been more than enough for a first down. And it's fourth down and eight upcoming. And we'll see. You'd imagine the Indians will punt it away, but who knows? Yeah, definitely had the right play call there, Chad. They had Calardi out of the back door on a little wheel route there to the boundary, and uh, he just didn't grab it. And uh, he'll want that one back tomorrow, that's for sure. Now, Del Garbino averages 38 yards per punt. He's lined up in a quasi shotgun, and he gets a wobbly kick, albeit a short kick that will travel out of bounds. At the 32-yard line, and that is where South Range will take over. First down and 10 Raiders with an eight-point lead. Here with 6.38 left in this first half. The area's best football players are part of WKBN's Big 22. It is sponsored by Eastern Gateway Community College and the Curbstone Coaches. Head to WKBN.com and click on Sports to see the top high school football players from our valley. Chad Krispinski, Brian Jones, Brooke Meenahan with you. There's a brief discussion taking place. For one reason or another, there was a penalty flag that was thrown on the play. And it looks as if it will be assessed against South Range. So the Raiders are going to be backed up and not have nearly as good a field position as we initially thought. And they'll march up 15 yards in the opposite direction. Looks like it was hitting a defenseless player. In case you're just joining us, it was South Range getting on the scoreboard first in quarter number one. That young man, Isaac Allegretto, was able to spin his way in for a touchdown. Short time later in the first quarter, it was Gerard's Jimmy Jones finding his way in. And then Allegretto did the job of a four-yard touchdown pass. McCabe barrels his way down to the 30-yard line. And it is a first down for South Range. Patrick McCabe really getting it done. And McCabe helped out by some gaping holes opened up by the big fellas up front he already has hauled in a short shovel pass from isaac allegretto for a touchdown raiders not content they're still on the attack chris brooks wide to the right top middle of your screen he's a guy to watch allegretto meanwhile will give to mccabe hayden gump is there and he says no way you mentioned off the top that Gump really clogs things up. The big guy wears 52. And man, he made his presence felt there. No running room whatsoever. Yeah, hitting Gump on his way to Youngstown State after his senior year. Showing you why he's a Division I football player on that play. 
No gain on first down, second down, and 10. Isaac Allegretta with Toy split wide out to the left. Allegretta to throw, pumping, floating. Toy can't make the catch, just out of his reach and out of bounds. Little wheel route on the pump fake. But it was out of reach for Toy. And now it's third down and 10. And this is where Gerard thrives on defense. Third and long. This is where Coach Pat Pearson can draw up one of his exotic blitzes and come after Isaac Allegretto. We'll see what he has in his back pocket here on this third and long call. Isaac Allegretto with a four wide receiver set. Allegretto to throw. Rolling near side firing. And it's picked off. Intercepted by Dominic Melito. And it's first down and 10, Gerard. On our first real miscue here in this football game, Dominic Melito, the sophomore, coming up. Right place, right time. Exactly what Gerard needed. Dominic Melito, first game back after a three week hiatus, makes a huge play. Welcome back to the big show. Dominic Melito. First down and 10 for Gerard from the 32 yard line. 515 left. South Range was really moving down the field. And all of a sudden, Gerard now with a prime opportunity to cut into this eight-point deficit or perhaps tie the ball game up. Andrew Del Garbino. With a five-wide receiver set, Del Garbino up the middle, plows ahead inside the 30, and he's tackled at the 29-yard line. It's a gain of what looks to be about three. South Range doing a, a great job here of just adapting to this Gerard run game. They've made an, a slight adjustment, and they're going to try to force them to put the ball in the air in order to beat them tonight. Three wideouts to the left, two near side to the right, empty backfield, Andrew Del Garbino, quarterback keeper, up the middle, inside the 25, down to the 23-yard line, finishing things off with that hit at the tail end, Corey Pennick. Nice run. Nice run lanes there for that Gerard offensive line. And I tell you what, Del Garbino is a nice looking kid. He's got a nice frame on him, good lower half, and he's going to deliver a blow when he can. From the 23, Andrew Del Garbino. Cut down! Cougar made the stop. Football came out. Raiders have it. They're going to say he was down. Let's take a look. No gain is the call. Knee down. Then the ball does come out. I think bang, bang, right there. Close call. Great call by our officiating crew. I would agree. Fourth down and one upcoming. This is a big play as we now wind down to 3.30 left in this first half. Gerard coming up with the interception from Dominic Melito. On fourth down and one, we have a whistle. Jimmy Jones was lined up at quarterback, and Gerard has called a timeout. Indians now with one timeout remaining. We'll take a timeout as well. We got a great one brewing here in the ME8. South Range 14, Gerard 6. We'll bring you back after this on the WKBN High School Football Game of the Week.
Welcome back. Fourth down and one. Gerard football. Jimmy Jones on the keeper. Puts his head down. Jones looks like he has more than enough for a first down to the 21-yard line. They'll uncover the pile, and it's an Indians first down. Jimmy Jones, very, very deliberate, very patient, and he waited and then pounced. First and 10, as we're down to the 21-yard line. Jimmy Jones will bring Melito in motion. Fake handoff, Jimmy Jones pounds his way down to the 16-yard line. South Range has reached the Bellaria red zone. Bellaria, they sell taste one bite at a time. A little QB counter here, and Jimmy Jones does the rest. Great block it up front, and Gerard knows that if they're going to win the game tonight, it's going to be on the back of Jimmy Jones. Anthony DeLucia with the tackle for South Range. Second down. The line of scrimmage is right on the 15-yard line. Melito comes in motion. They will give it to Melito. Melito cuts it back inside. And Melito is down inside the 15. And they mark him down at the 13-yard line. Inside of two minutes left as the plot continues to thicken here. Melito, standout wide receiver, says he loves Jarvis Landry of the Cleveland Browns. Of course, the Browns use Landry in so many different ways, and that's just what the Indians have done and continue to do. Jimmy Jones takes the snap, looking to bounce it to the outside, trying to reverse his tracks, and he slammed down! Perfect time loss on third down. There was a wave of Raiders right there to make the stop. And again, there was no way of escaping this one. That time, Jake Gehring was there to make the stop. He grabbed a hold and would not let go. Fourth down and 11. This is a huge play as we're down to 45 seconds left. South Range has all three timeouts left. Andrew Del Garbino takes the snap. He'll go to the air, firing middle of the field. It's caught inside the five, down to the four. Morgan Clardy hauls it in. First and goal, Gerard. A heck of a throw by Del Garbino and Clardy hold it in to move the chains and keep this drive alive as the Indians quickly get back to the line of scrimmage. Clardy to the right of Del Garbino. Del Garbino with the keeper and he pushes his way down to the two yard line. And again, we're down to 11 seconds left and Gerard will take its final timeout, trailing 14-6. In the final seconds of this first half. Wow! Say every week, we'll pick the player of the game. This is one player that has made the greatest impact during our WKBN Game of the Week. It is sponsored by Fred Martin Ford and Nightline Embroidery and Screen Printing. We'll feature the player of the game every Monday night at 11 o'clock on WKBN 27 First News. Chad Krasbinski, Brian Jones with you now. This is really getting interesting. Gerard out of timeouts. A chance now to tie things up with a touchdown and a two-point conversion. What do you call here with no timeouts left, Brian? Well, I think you're definitely going to have to put this in the air. And uh, with that dagger throw, just two plays ago from Del Garbino. I think he has a little bit of confidence here, so expect expect a little pick route. And expect it to go to Melito or Jimmy Jones. So 
Let's see what happens here. Molino is lined up. Far side to the left. And it looks like he's single covered. Del Garbino will toss it to Jones, who fires, and zone caught! Touchdown! Guess who? Nick Molito with his sixth receiving touchdown of the season. And Gerard able to stick it in with six seconds left in the first half. What a play as the Indians go to the bag of tricks. Well, they used all three of them. They snapped it to Del Garbino. He pitched it to Jimmy Jones. Jimmy Jones laid it up to Nick Melito, and what a call by Coach Nick Cochran. Heck of a call there, and they're going to go in with a chance to tie the ball game up right here. Nick Melito getting it done, heading to Louisville, and he showed why on that play, wide open, and he made the catch. So the Indians will go for two and try to tie things up. Del Garbino rolling, firing, back, left side. It's caught, and it's in for the two-point conversion. Tyler Maddox. And we're tied at 14. A great call here. They do a little throwback screen to Tyler Maddox. He's dead to rights here, but he slips off the tackle, will not be denied, and he gets the ball across for the two-point conversion. And Gerard gets the little pep in the step right before the half to even it up at 14. And I tell you what, Chad, we have the ball game that we expected here tonight. It's going to be a heck of one for this second half. Yeah, what a second half it promises to be. Six seconds left. Can't say enough about the calls from those offensive coaches. Pat Pearson, plenty of congratulations for all those guys who were involved, and there were a lot. You think about that completion in the middle of the field to Clardy to keep the drive alive. And then, of course, the touchdown pass from two yards out from Jones to Nick Molito, and then the two-point conversion. That's how we got to where we are. We're tied at 14. Dan Yegley saw his team build a 14-6 lead, and things looked good for the Raiders. But it was fourth down and long. But, boy, this Gerard offense was in the state championship game for a reason. They've been averaging 42 points per game. And this offense has flexed its muscles here at points tonight. Nick Molito, who caught the touchdown pass, will tee it up. We'll see if it's a little squib kick. Nope, they will kick it deep. Hold in across the 20, 25, 30. Out to the 35, 40. Up across the 45 to the 48. And that'll do it for us here in the second quarter. So we are where we were when we started. This time we're all tied up. It's 14 all. Gerard and South Range hooked up in a great one on the WKBN High School Football Game of the Week.